In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the inverse of a logarithmic function. So let's start with this one. We have f of x is equal to log base 2 of x minus 3 minus 5. So the first thing we want to do is replace f of x with y. Now, in the second step, we need to switch x and y. Third, now we need to solve for the y variable. So in order to do that, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So I'm going to have x plus 5 is equal to log base 2 of y minus 3. Now, using the properties of logs, I need to convert it from its logarithmic form to its exponential form. And here's how you can do that. So let's say you have log base a of b is equal to c. To convert it to exponential form, you can use this formula. A raised to the c is going to equal b. So start with the base. In this case, the base is 2. So 2 raised to the x plus 5 is going to equal what's inside of log, which is y minus 3. Now remember, our goal is to solve for y. To do that, we just need to add 3 to both sides. So we get that y is equal to 2 raised to the x plus 5 plus 3. Now, after we solve for y, we can replace it not with f of x, but the inverse of f of x. So we can write our final answer like this. The inverse of f of x is 2 raised to the x plus 5 plus 3. So this right here is going to be our final answer. So that's how you could find the inverse of a logarithmic function. So let's work on another example, somewhat similar, but slightly different. So let's say that f of x is equal to 2 log of 4 times x minus 5 plus 12. Go ahead and find the inverse of this function. If you want to pause the video, try this problem yourself, feel free to do so this time. By the way, for those of you who want more examples on finding inverse functions or just problems with functions in general, check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to be posting more content related to this topic below this video. So first, let's replace f of x with y. Next, let's switch x and y. And then let's solve for y. In order to do that, I'm going to subtract both sides by 12. So I'm going to have x minus 12 is equal to 2 log base 4 of y minus 5. Now, the one thing that's different with this problem relative to the last problem is that I have a coefficient in front of the log. So I need to get rid of that before I can change it to exponential form. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. On the left side, I'm going to divide each of these terms separately by 2. So on the right, the 2's will cancel. On the left, x over 2 is the same as 1 half x. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. And that's going to equal log base 4 of y minus 5. Now, we need to convert this expression from logarithmic form to exponential form. 
So we're going to start with the base, base 4, raised to what's on the other side of the equal sign. That is going to equal to what's inside of the log expression. So we're going to have 4 raised to the 1 half x minus 6. And that's going to equal to y minus 5. So now I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So we get y is equal to 4 raised to the 1 over x minus 6 plus 5. And of course, you could just reverse it and write it this way. Now, we don't want to stop here. We want to replace y with the inverse of f of x. So the inverse of f of x is going to be 4 raised to the 1 half x minus 6 plus 5. So that is the answer to this problem. Now let's try another problem, but this time we're going to use the natural log function as opposed to the regular function. So we're going to have f of x is equal to ln x minus 3 plus 4. Go ahead and find the inverse of this function. So to begin, just like before, we're going to replace f of x with the y variable. Next, we are going to switch x with y and vice versa. So we're going to have x is equal to ln y minus 3 plus 4. Now we're going to solve for y. So first, I'm going to move the 4 from the right side to the left side. It's positive 4 on the right. When it's moved to the left, it will be negative 4. Now, once we get to this point, we need to change it from logarithmic form to exponential form. But right now, we don't see a base. When dealing with natural logs, it's understood that the base is the letter E. E is a number, which is 2.718 approximately. And so you would treat it as any constant. So we're going to have, we're going to start with the base, E, and raise it to the stuff across the equal sign e raised to the x minus 4 is going to equal the stuff that's inside of the natural log function, in this case, y minus 3. Now, in order to solve for y, we need to add 3 to both sides. If we move negative 3 from the right side to the left, it's going to change from negative 3 to positive 3. So we're going to have e raised to the x minus 4 plus 3 is equal to y. Or we could say y is equal to e raised to the x minus 4 plus 3. Next, we're going to replace y with the inverse f of x symbol. And we're going to report this as our final answer. So this is the inverse function. So the inverse of a natural log function will give you the exponential function with the base e. Let's work on one more example. So let's say we have the function f of x is equal to 5 minus natural log of 6 minus 1 over 3x. Go ahead and find the inverse of this function. A little bit harder. It has more, a few more steps, but process is relatively the same. So just like before, the first step is going to be the same. We're going to replace f of x with y. Next, we are going to switch x and y. And then we're going to solve for y. So let's subtract 5 from both sides. Here it's positive 5 on the right. When we move it to the left, it will be negative 5.
Now, notice that we have this negative sign in front of the natural log function. So before we could change it from logarithmic form to exponential form, we need to do something with that negative sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. So this is going to be negative x plus 5. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. And this negative and that negative, they will cancel, giving us positive ln 6 minus 1 over 3 y. Now, negative x plus 5, if you switch the negative x and the 5, you could write it like this. Positive 5 minus x. These two expressions are equivalent to each other. So now, at this point, we could change the logarithmic expression into its exponential form. So e raised to the 5 minus x is going to equal what's inside of the log function, which is 6 minus 1 over 3 y. Now, we need to do something with the 1 third in front of the y. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So on the left, I'm going to have 3 e raised to the 5 minus x is equal to. Now, 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times negative 1 third y. The 3s will cancel, giving us negative y. Now, I want positive y and not negative y, so I'm going to move negative y to the other side, and it's going to be positive y. This term, I'm going to move it to the other side. It's positive on the left, but it will be negative on the right. So y is going to equal positive 18 minus 3 e raised to the 5 minus x. So now we have y by itself. So now we can replace that with the inverse function and say the inverse of f of x is going to be 18 minus 3 times e raised to the 5 minus x. And that is going to be the final answer. So that's how you could find the inverse of a regular log function or a natural logarithmic function. By the way, for those of you who want more example problems on inverse functions and functions in general, don't forget to check out the links in the description section below.